Greetings, Flesh Wound Horror Freaks, and welcome to a brand new episode of Flesh Wound Horror. I am Daniel Shine, joined as always by Todd Loya. What's up? Pugs Dread. Namaste. And Mike Kruger. What's up, you sick motherfuckers? Ah, so, hope everybody's having a happy Halloween season. We're here tonight to talk uh, the last two Welcome to the Bloom House movies, which were. What? Welcome to the Blum House. Who cares? I told you I can call them what I want after that abomination. Um, they're African Americans. No, you cannot call them what they want. What you want? Jason man. Blum. Jason Blum's white. God damn it. He's two oh, percent so, African. So that's okay. Yeah. He's gonna call Jason Blum something else. Dan, you know what? I'm sick of your shit. Not gonna. <laughs> He's a hundred percent hack. Uh, all right. So let's get right into right into this one Digging. throwing me off from the beginning uh all right so our I first one film... Dan saying welcome to the blumhouse in uh like guns and roses axel rose can you give me the, the serpentine no, i don't do that you got the hat. right <laughs> i am just about as cool but uh no yeah. my, all you gotta do you is gotta... hi bitch dan welcome to the blumhouse <laughs> Sound like me now saying that shit. <laughs> uh, on the description of the movie that we're uh, reviewing tonight, yeah, we can. Yes, do that. yes. So shut up, Todd. All right. So our first film <laughs> is is Nocturne, and it is from writer director Zoo Quirk. <laughs> And uh, this one follows an incredibly gifted pianist makes a Faustian bargain to overtake her older sister at a prestigious institution for classical musicians. All right. So um, uh, I want to say off the bat uh, before I tag you in Kruger, there is a movie that came out not too long ago that I think really hurts this one um i'm sure we all know what it is but uh kruger what did you think of nocturne well um just going in like the intro i, I it was so long and i'm just like oh god this is gonna skid yeah i was scared right off the bat and i knew <laughs> i was gonna have a good time with this and to be honest i didn't uh per usual anything blumhouse does though it's shot well and the acting's decent uh but I, I mean, man, you guys aren't going to make me scared with a satanic logo that literally looks like the God Smack symbol. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't really care for any of the characters. They're all pieces of shit, to be honest. Um, and I, 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 they were just very annoying and unlikable uh, teenagers. And the teachers, too, were annoying as fuck. Um, I, I, things escalate. But, man, it takes a while to get there. Uh, maybe, you know, time-wise, not a while, but it felt like I was there forever for something to finally fucking happen. And, I mean, once things pick up, it gets okay, and, you know, can it starts to get a little bit interesting. But then the ending just left me, meh. So I, I didn't really like this one. Okay. Pugs, what did you think of Nocturne? Um, I get along with pretty much everybody, but it – takes me a while to deal with these artsy farty people so i was already like a little standoffish i don't like these guys or ladies whatever the fuck they identify with at all mm -hmm. i this movie did not respect my time it dragged and dragged and i was just not having a good time um i did like the last shot the acting's okay um it's a good looking movie but i i just did not care <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't. I I didn't care either. It felt like a chore to get through. Um, it just. I don't. I. Other than it was it was shot good. I don't have anything other positive. There's one thing I can say about it before you go into what you have to say, Dan. The uh -huh. only thing I liked about this movie, and the only reason it's even getting as high of a rating as it's getting, is the final visual shot was cool. But I wish it would have been more gory. Uh, other than that, this movie kind of sucked. <laughs> it uh, one thing that hurt it for me was we had a brilliant film not too long ago called The Perfection on Netflix, which this kind of kept reminding me of, and that's much much better. Why? Because it um, was like artsy musician shit. It it 
followed similar ground, but it was a little more obviously more complex and better made. Um, I got like a Starry Eyes vibe, but like if every yeah. move was kind done of that wrong. too. Yeah, yeah there, was... there's several films. There's that... a little Suspiria in there also, which also yeah. did not help for me. <laughs> that. That's <laughs> the first thing I thought. <laughs> The color scheme when she kind of like is first looking down that long hallway, that's where I was kind of getting some Suspiria vibes. So unfortunately, there's a lot of much better films that this well, you know, just doesn't Suspiria. get anywhere close I'll to. I'll watch this one over uh, the original Suspiria. I know you're not a Suspiria guy, but I am. You know, you know, you <laughs> I like them both. I, like, I, I, do too. I love them both. I get, uh, why, I get why the Bugs thinks the other one's overrated. Totally get it. It yeah. is, but but this one, I will say this. I don't think I hated it as much as you guys. I actually thought the acting was very good. Uh, Sydney Sweeney as Juliet, I thought, played her part quite well. Um, it's just a shame they didn't give her character some more interesting things to do, particularly towards the end, because, uh, I mean, not to give away any kind of uh, twists or anything, but uh, uh, it could have it also, I think, uh, Bloomhouse just holding it back with their unwillingness to do anything a little more extreme hurt this one. Um, that last shot is very good, but for what this deals with, it's pretty sanitized again, which is a shame because I actually felt this had more potential than some of the recent uh, films I've seen from from the studio. Uh, I'm just gonna say it, say it the way I want. So shut up, Todd. Thanks uh, for keeping it professional, Dan. <laughs> yeah. I, I, it now you got it in my head. All right, uh, Blum House, right? Bloom, no Blum. I don't even know what like it is anymore. Blum, like Bloom. a Blumkin, all right, without the kin. There you go. All right, so what yeah. It had its moment. I really thought maybe towards the end, I was like, if this ends strong, I would be a lot more generous. But God, there's just so many better movies that would cover similar themes. But I do want to say, Sydney Sweeney, Sydney Sweeney is one to watch. She was actually great and held it together for me. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm going to actually be generous and give it a two and a half because she held it. I, it's a one time watch, but she she made it for me. Uh, what say you, Kruger? I'm a two. Uh, definitely wouldn't have given it as high of a rating if it did, we didn't get that final visual. But if we yeah. do talk spoilers tonight, I will tell you exactly what I would have wanted. Uh, mm -hmm. Continuing on, though. what did you think, Todd? I am. I'm. I'm a one and a half. I. I didn't think that the ending shot saved it. It was already too late for me. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. but it was cool. But yeah, uh, what it's what say you, Pugs? Uh, there's an audience out there for this movie, and it's not me. I am a one. Okay, I have a feeling uh, we're gonna all want the same thing that we didn't get out of this, but uh, we will see. Uh, so, anyways, guys, we're gonna get into spoilers now. So, nope. if you nope, next movie, Dan. Oh, never mind. Shit. Sorry, my bad. Uh, all right, moving on to our next movie. No uh, accents, which is, please. And as uh, Dan did not mention, um, that is out of five. Five. Yes, uh, yes. I know. Bad Dan. Out of five. Uh, we always review out of five. Uh, all right, so our next film, also from Welcome to the Blumhouse, is uh, Evil Eye from Directors... Ilan Dasani and Rajiv Dasani. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, all right, we'll get right into it. Um, all right, so a superstitious mother is convinced that her daughter's new boyfriend is the reincarnation of a man who tried to kill her 30 years ago. Uh, all right. So didn't know anything about this one going in. I was super excited to see that uh, Sunita Mani from Glow uh, was in this. And also our favorite uh, Pugs, well, Todd's favorite horse movie of all time. Now, I'm not even going to insult you, Todd. I think it's all our favorite horse movie of all time. Screw Black Beauty. Uh, she what, was in this. What, what horse movie? 
You don't remember? A24? Death of Dick Long. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Okay. I did forget How that. Did you movie. forget the best? It would just be nice that. if you fucking said the title, motherfucker. I know, right? <laughs> I was just, I was shocked. I figured you would know. All right, yes. I watch a uh, lot of content. I do forget like things like that. <laughs> uh, all right, so Evil Eye, what'd you think, Kruger? Um, you know, going into this, I was uh, interested because I, I haven't seen like a lot of Indian horror movies. Um, and I, you know, like I said before, I enjoy like lo looking and seeing how different cultures like come up with horror. Uh, fortunately, this isn't really good at all. Uh, it's a fucking pretty shit story. Um, the first 45 minutes are just straight fucking boring ass family drama that was bothering, like, other than getting insight on how, like, maybe Indian families act, uh, there was nothing there for me. Um, I actually fell asleep on this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I'm not even gonna fucking lie. I was falling asleep at the end because it just felt like it took ten years to get to the conclusion that just sucked. And uh, I, I, I don't recommend this at all. Okay, so not not your day, Kruger. I'm sorry. No. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Pugs? Um, other than it being way too damn long, I actually kind of liked it. It felt like a lifetime movie with higher production. Um, mm -hmm. I do tend yeah. to like those sometimes. Uh, I love the mother-daughter relationship. Like she's just trying her damnedest to protect her kid, and I absolutely love the father. I wish we would have got more of him. It's his cheat day, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's 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 okay. Um, I did not like the dude, but I guess he was doing his job because by the time at the end, I was rooting for. Her, uh, the mom and daughter to prevail so um mm -hmm. yeah it's fine i don't really can consider this horror this is more of like this uh thriller slash I, light, yeah, lifetime. yeah that's that's what the whole thing's been um thus far um but i'm with you pugs i actually did enjoy this one um it, it could have been a little shorter but for you know watching it not as a horror film i think it worked what it was trying to do um it's nothing like super new. I mean, there's the Indian twist and like their whole belief system. So I, I thought it was cool. I will say I am very, very disappointed. So if you are a fan of Bollywood, don't expect a dance number. <laughs> that is a letdown. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's not a traditional uh it's not a traditional Indian horror film. I definitely wouldn't judge it that judge indian horror films this way if you haven't watched a lot of them this is you know um unfortunately all right uh, the good thing first once again uh sunita mani is fantastic i will watch her in anything kind of held it together for me uh i like the mom too i felt there they could have done something a little more interesting and suspenseful i, I mean even though in the stories yeah, you know, you, you kind of see everything coming from a mile away. Uh, they could have at least added a little more suspense to it. Uh, as, as Kruger said, uh, it just this movie just kind of meanders and just uh, it, it, yeah. Uh, I maybe this one was just not meant to even be a horror movie. I don't know what the production history, I don't know if this was shot for Again, just like don't. It, it just don't put horror in the fucking description. That's the thing that, like, I even yeah. looked and I was just like, it, oh, it says horror drama. All right. Well, emphasis yeah. on the latter. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, though, Blumhouse didn't push these as horror films. It was just four unsettling films under one roof. Unsettling was all they said. Mm, but they so, are. They are. A That's horror. fucking lame as fuck. I don't yeah. give him that excuse, Todd. Fuck them. During <laughs> Halloween, too. <laughs> well, I'm mean, just more than horror. I'm just saying. Everyone just kind of associates it with them. What's that drum movie? Yeah, but you can't Austin? put horror in it. Just put thriller then. They did. Yeah. There's horror is not put anywhere in it. If you're looking like at a, a like a, a website that lists stuff, that's what they're listing. That's not what it's listed. At. You know what I mean? Like, mm. why the fuck is it on their stream? That, that just that, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, this might be one again that plays well for, I don't know, a young 
tween girl and her mom to watch. I, I mean, I think there might be something there. We're definitely not the audience, despite I, I really did like the cast again, so they at least get that right. But, uh, I mean, this doesn't even remotely resemble a horror film and, until maybe a little bit but towards the not, end. And I even that's really underwhelming. Really, it's, it's not listed as a... I mean, it's not... Blumhouse, Amazon never push it as a horror film. I they, disagree. Unsettling stories. That's all they're listing. Mm, well, I, I still think expectations for this. But since you listen to us, guys, you know now it's not really a horror film. Uh, I think, yeah. you know what? It's, it's that they released them in October. If they would have released these a different time of the year, it wouldn't have been mm. like these have to be horror. They're from Blumhouse. Because Bloomhouse de- definitely has other stuff. Mm, yeah, but they're they're pretty much known for horror. They are, and that's the math, the bulk of what they do. Um, but here I am again. Uh, any closing thoughts before we rate it? I know we're quick on this one, but it is what it is. Other than it took too damn long. Like we under- we get the re- the mother daughter family relationship. Yeah, we understand it way faster than what they expect us to, or what they. Uh, I don't know. They yeah. cut that shit by like 15 minutes and this would have been streamlined so much better. The whole story could have been 15 minutes, really, in well, this I one. You can do that, but... But, yeah. Yeah, no. So, alright. We'll go ahead and rate it. Uh, and I hate to do it to uh, to my girl, but I gotta give it a two. Right. What say you, Kruger? Um, out of respect for it being filmed well and the actors and actresses performances, I gave it a one, but uh, I didn't like this shit at all. Okay. Pugs. I actually quite enjoyed it. I'm giving it a three with a, you don't really have to see it, but it's fine. I'm okay. a three also. Oh, all right. Um, but okay. Before we jump into spoilers, we'll quit real quick. What is everyone's favorite of the four? Oh, I really the vow. I mean, that's the lie. lie. Jesus, not oh. well. They that's good. Too. Well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I probably have to go. I probably have to go with the lie. I thought it could have been Nocturne at the beginning, <laughs> but it didn't get there. And that's not to say these four. It's none of them are great, but. Yeah. What was the other one that was with the lie? Black box. Yeah. See, so you already forgot it. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think the lie probably is the best one too. Yeah. The yeah. Black box, like the black mirror rip okay, off then one. What would be second? We're not gonna rank the whole or rank them all, but like, I would go this one. Um, fuck. What was it called? <laughs> yeah. Evil eye. Yeah. yeah. I would evil eye too. I would. I would, if I'm going second. Maybe black box. <laughs> I'd I'd go Nocturne second for me. Uh, again, it's, this is not a high recommendation. <laughs> no, <laughs> you can see the energy. Uh, <laughs> just... yeah. I I do want to get into spoilers for for um Evil Eye though, because there's there's okay. one thing or two things actually that I think is pretty cool. Oh. Spoiler warning, guys. So now, if you do not wish for these movies to be spoiled. Now would be the time to to bow out. Even though one of them, you will probably know everything <laughs> five minutes into the movie. Still, you've been warned. Uh, all right, so Pugs, you were saying. I'm glad Dan has the professional hat on tonight. Look at him go. I gotta tell it like it is. Train, training wheels off. Uh, <laughs> so I am actually a big, like, I don't want to say a believer, but I like karma. I, yeah, I guess a believer in karma. Whatever you put out, you get back. So when they mm. mention that, I'm like, oh, this is cool. I don't think she deserves this. But then again, she killed this guy, so maybe she does deserve to be like kind of haunted by this by this guy. And mm. also, um, the reincarnation, that's just cool. I want more movies like that. But like done better, please. Yeah. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, I wish they would have made the crime that happened to her more violent and made me, you know, like it, 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 it just I don't know. They could have. I think there was just a different way they could have went about it to make it more powerful. Yeah, if they would have yeah. spent more time actually like 
visualizing the shit she went through instead of like the relationship with her family and daughter, I think we would have been like rooting for them a little more. So I, yeah, I agree mm-hmm. with that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I actually knew a guy that I played cards with that uh, actually moved out here to avoid an arranged marriage. So I think they, I am actually surprised they didn't go into that a little bit more. Um, which I kind of thought this might have been at the beginning, but uh, there haven't been enough of those movies. <laughs> well, like I said, they weren't looking to reinvent the wheel with this one, so you know, I don't know. Um, but yeah, the mom was good. They just think even when they had that final confrontation with the guy, it was so fast. Like there was yeah. no suspense. There was no like chasing him up the stairs or like. Jack Nicholson moment through the door. It was just the, like, oh, blind him with the the powder, and I don't well, know. It was just the weak. line, the line paid off. The when the general tells you to duck or whatever the hell it is. Yeah, Save your ass. When the mom got shanked, though, I was I was a little concerned. It's like, fuck, this guy got her finally. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I don't know. They well, weren't black. Spoilers on bad. the this guy. Uh, this one is on um, Nocturne, African American Christmas. Thank you. Nocturne. Well, uh, one thing uh, I just want to say on Nocturne. <laughs> yeah, the, the tampon fucking thing actually I wanted to talk about. <laughs> yeah, it somebody who's movie. watching. That well, somebody bad. who's watching it. I want her to throw it in her fucking face. You're going to walk all that way, <laughs> that man, and just toss it on the ground? Oh. <laughs> Hit that bitch. <laughs> No, I was gonna say mandible claw or something with it. I mean, I but again, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying somebody that was watching it with me was like, "Dude, what the fuck did they leave those tampons in for like three weeks? Like, <laughs> shit, we're full of the motherfucking brim." <laughs> uh, Details we would not notice, I guess. <laughs> take my carriage, please. <laughs> the uh, fucking. Uh, gift of living with all women. So. <laughs> <laughs> Someone here throws them at pro wrestlers, so you know. That's, I don't know if anywhere. Oh yeah, I guess we do that too. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so see, you, you gotta you gotta aim. You gotta hit somebody with them. Uh, one thing though, I, one thing for Nocturne, I wanted to say though, there was like an opportunity that I thought we could have like had girl go like super bad. Uh, uh-huh. When dude was trying to grab his fucking, uh, I think it was like a, a ward or something. She threw in the fire. I want her to just like push that motherfucker in the fireplace. Yeah, because, like, even, yeah. It, 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 like little things like that could have raised it. And then like the ending, all I wanted, like I just I saw that cool thing at the end, and I wanted her to like impale her heart on it. And then you know, like at least it'd mm-hmm. just be something a little bit more extra than what we got, but. The blood coming out of her mouth, running into her eyes, was very cool looking. Yeah. But at that point, you know, the rest of the movie wasn't really that good. But the only other thing I thought that was good was that uh, I don't know, did she take like drugs or something? Whenever she was like hallucinating at the party, and everybody like had weird fucked up mm-hmm. masks, that looked kind of cool. But other than that, you know, totally missable. I think where they made a big mistake was she doesn't really cause a whole lot of mayhem. And then with the pervy uh, teacher, it's like, well, she could do a whole lot worse to that guy. I mean, kill him, cut his throat, something, you know, descent into madness. Uh, And that's really all it was. I mean, which is cool. If they had a better screenplay surrounding uh, Sydney Sweeney. That was it. That was the other movie that it reminded me of. Again, yeah. everything done wrong. Yeah, I, I don't know. This one was this one was a, a a missed opportunity. I think this really easily could have been the best. I think both of them bunch. honestly were because yeah, well, like yeah, well, yeah. just just you could have had like if they would have just turned things up a little bit, trimmed out you know some of the fat. I think in the other one, it would have made it a way better movie. It was just mm-hmm. like. It took so long for shit to happen. And like Pug said before, you know, they just totally went with, they like totally focused too much on the, you know, uh, mother daughter thing. And I think they should have maybe focused more on the dynamic between the daughter and the boyfriend. Like show him doing more shady shit. Or, yeah. 
yeah, you really only get like, a, you know, a couple minutes of him like being creepy on the phone with her briefly, and then it's it's just it's over so fast. Like the interesting part is just done. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say so fast. Dude. Both of these movies took four fucking ever. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, that is true. Yes, but no. So I don't know, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, this this makes me want the eight films to die for to come back because uh, I will tell you this: are... uh, um, even the worst Into the Dark I'd rather watch than, than other than The Light I ever, ever want to watch again. There are uh, some more. Right. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> The, the husband or the fiance should have been revealed as Puka. Boom. Mm. Another star. Yeah, I think I prefer Into the Dark, too, for sure. Be, just because, like, it is a little bit more consistent. Not by much, though. Like, there is some stinkers. But Honestly, very, Blumhouse is so good. No, I was just going to say that at least that is, there's no argument that is a horror series marketed as one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll, give you, I'll give it that. Yeah, but Eight films to die for. I mean, yeah, there were a few bad ones, but they were always more entertaining than the stuff they're churning out. Um, so can I so. take this spoiler warning off now? Oh, yeah, yep. we're good. Uh, all right. So, guys, we're glad. you. We hope you enjoyed listening to this uh, <laughs> review slash warning for some of us. Uh, <laughs> be sure to like, share, and subscribe here on YouTube. Uh, we appreciate it very much. Helps the channel. And Pugs, take us home. Oh, um, we have a Patreon. So if you want to help support us and entertain yourselves, it starts at just a buck. You can get early access and uncensored and exclusive content. Um, and you can follow us on all the social media bullshits. Just type in our name and we'll pop up. Um, yes. Everyone say good night. Good night. All right. And I'm going to say... Happy Halloween, guys. <laughs> <laughs>